Hey everyone, Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Well, the 2023 moose hunt is in the books. So I'm just going to do this quick little video and do a little trailer of, and show you some of the footage that I got to let you know what you're going to see later on as I post different parts. It's going to be a multi-part series again. We did have a few issues. Um, on the way home, I, hit, I ended up hitting a cow with the trailer. Um, it just missed my truck, thank God, but uh, as you can see, there's the head print of the cow and caved it in way up there, caved in the uh, diamond plate. This was a cow cow, cattle cow. Uh, the rancher was there, they were trying to round it up and uh, get it in its pen. No one was guiding traffic. They said there was, there was a truck there, but there was nobody there and uh, had a truck passing me on the left and obstructed all my view and I ended up hitting a cow. As for the boat, I got the boat inflated. I do have two holes in it. I have a hole here and you can see that is real soft and there's a hole I think in the floor. I'm not sure but it's not going to be a fun one to patch. I can't get to it but on the other side the hole is way in there and as you can see it's totally dark and a tunnel in there. And uh, the boat was fine. We only spent five days on the boat. Water was uh, six inches lower than what it usually is. So we couldn't make it into the lake we wanted to. We tried. It was just, uh, just beating the hell out of the boat too much. Um, the motor took a real shit kicking, but it handled it like a champ with no damage at all. A few marks on the foot, that's it. And believe me, I hit some hard, hard rocks. So we ended up going into another lake that was up there and I knew another guy was going to go in there. So we only spent five days in there and on our way out, we ran into him and uh, really nice country. You'll see in the video, lots of fishing was awesome. He ended up getting two nice bulls, one really nice one. And the other one was a really nice one in my books as well. So after that, we deflated the boat. We decided to uh, use our quads and hunt the way we usually do. And uh, that turned out very well. Did learn a lot on the boat and I will be taking the boat again. But uh, it's a learning process. I didn't want to spend my whole time on the boat, wasting all my time trying to find a good place to hunt. We did find some good places. We did see some uh, bull, but it was a little too small. And uh, we did see a cow and two calves and caught tons of fish. But anyways, when we went out on the quads, we ended up getting three moose while we were there. And uh, uh, Rick and Andy ended up getting another moose the day we left so we ended up with a total of four moose So we limited out which is really 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 exceptionally good. I'm very happy with that um, I'm pretty sure next year they're gonna put that area on limited entry due to the lack of bulls Which is a bunch of bullshit as you all know um, Just political political stuff and I'm getting sick and tired of it and I, I bet you guys all are as well so without further ado I don't think I've oh also on my way home found out my fridge died so I had to buy a new refrigerator for my house ah oh, just the bills keep adding up <laughs> but uh, that's life anyway other than that I had a great trip um, I think Rob had a great trip and the other two guys had a great trip as well seen lots of moose lots of bulls and uh, hopefully I got some good footage for you guys i'm going to give you a preview right here of some of the footage so i hope you like it please like subscribe hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content and so like i said there's going to be a multi-series uh, uh hunt with a bunch of different parts and episodes so you're going to want to subscribe and like so you don't miss that and uh like i say i hope you like it anyways without further ado here is some short clips and videos of what we've seen and how the hunt went thanks everybody take care
just found the moose just before it's getting dark and look it's snowing. So uh, I don't know if you see lights down there, but that's Rick it's coming up. Uh, Rob's on his way up. Close as he to the guys. Was the distance 400 and? I, I had mine on 450. Yeah. Came, I had it started at 575 when we first. Yeah, he came. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> on here chainsaws in the back check out this spectacular view it I mean this is just amazing right here what a moosey spot snow on the peaks in the background now my bike 1996 Honda 400 foreman with myself and what moose quarters are on there I'm guessing over 600 pounds of weight <laughs> It's it's a lot of weight, man. Look at that. That's a good sized moose. We just this is the conclusion of our 2023 moose hunt. We had a very successful hunt. It was a good hunt. We've seen lots of moose. Oh, the weather was pretty good. Uh, we started out this series as a, in a jet boat for five days. We've seen one bull and a cow and a calf. Caught lots of fish. That was lots of fun. And then we came up here and hunted on quads. And uh, this is the result. Hunted with Rick and Andy. And, uh, Good time.